Today's recipe and other information featured in our show can be found in this week's new idea. Evening to you. Welcome to Queenstown. We're here all this week. It can be downright terrifying, but it always helps if you're looking and feeling your best. And that goes for men as well as women. What have you found that's interesting, Chris? Nothing much today. Nothing much today? No. Oh, well. Your time will come. What would be your, your favourite, your ultimate job? Um, well, I love drawing, so cartooning would be my first option, then it's music. Right. So, so I like that industry as well. Okay. So what are we going to do with this makeover today to get you your job? Well, I'm prepared to go to any lengths. I'm prepared to have my hair completely chopped off. A willing victim? Yes. Fabulous. What about colour? Colour? Well, whatever makes me look more respectable. Yeah, okay. All right, leave it to us. Perhaps a little lighter on the makeup, do you think? Well, I'd say so. Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> To help style Chris for success is William Boyd from War Hair Design. What we're going to do with Chris today, because he has a very short undercut, long hair on the top, it's too blonde and it's too yellow. Chris wants a business-like, professional image. We're going to cut the top off, texturize it. We don't want it to look too short, but it's got to be much, much shorter than it is so that he can wear it forward or back, and we're going to give him a cooler, darker color that will complement his skin tones. This rather flashy-looking move has a trick to it. Keeping the scissors working faster than the comb, it gives more control than using clippers. What we're going to do, because Chris's hair's got such diverse lengths, we're going to chop the top off first, literally just chop it off. It doesn't have to be a, an artistically correct haircut at this point, but it just makes it easier to work with. We'll worry about style and shaping from now. William wants to be able to leave Chris's hair longer on top to achieve a smarter style. And since it's very thick, it needs to be heavily textured and roughed up. We've finished the main cut, now we're going to do some colour. We're about three quarters of the way through. We're going to use L'Oreal Dia Color, which is a tone on tone colour, and we're going to do a smudging effect. We're applying to the roots and working it gently through to the ends so we can still keep a two tone effect with Chris's hair, but not as dramatically as it is now. A bit softer and a bit, a bit more corporate. It's important to do the roots first for depth of colour. Because the ends are very porous, they will accept the colour quicker. Just time for a quick trim, and then the final style with glue for a spiky look. Well, that is a hang of a lot of hair for a bloke to have lost. But I like what's left, and I love the colour, William. It's a good colour. It's a stronger, darker, cooler colour than Chris had before, and it suits his skin tone and his eye colour better. Absolutely. Ready and rearing for the job market, I would say. Yeah. What do you reckon? Well, I'm happy with it. Yeah? What do you think your wife's going to say? I don't think she'll recognise me, but I love it. Good luck with the job hunting, Chris. So the keys to Chris's smart look were a much shorter cut, heavily textured, to allow some length to play with cool colour to match his skin tones, Techniart glue for subtle structure and a spiky look. <laughs>